ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have reached a point of pure hype and near crazy fervor. Everyone wants to know what the heck is going on with this rumored upcoming Nintendo Direct. What's going on everybody, it's Zach from Switch Force, and man oh man, I have seen so many threads on the Nintendo Switch subreddit about this potential Direct. I have seen so much discussion across Twitter and NeoGAF and Reset Era. I've seen so many theories in our own mentions and in our own comment section, and it really has created this chaos that is just boiling over at this point. It's become almost insane that so many people are discussing and theorizing what is going on at Nintendo and when are they going to give us the goods for Switch 2018. Well, today we're going to try and get to the truth behind that. And if you guys have any theories uh, or ideas or sleuthing that you've done of your own, definitely let us know in the comments down below. We'd love to hear it. But it all kind of began with some leakers, some credible leakers, uh, stating that there was going to be a big Nintendo Direct on January 11th. And some people said mid-January, and it was supposed to be a pretty big show that incorporated surprises uh, and confirming release dates and indie stuff and third-party stuff and first-party stuff, a whole big set the stage for 2018 show, because we don't know when Nintendo's next Direct is, we don't know a whole lot of dates uh, for upcoming indies or third-party titles, and we don't know really what Nintendo plans uh, to do first-party-wise in 2018 outside of Kirby and Yoshi. There definitely is something happening here. And Nintendo of America tweeted, What is the secret you're seeking? I know it, I know it, haha. -ha. I can't tell you it's hiding somewhere and no peeking. Go find it, go find it, Skrakaw. This is the lovable bird Takatu from Super Mario Odyssey, and they tweeted this on January 5th, five days ago. They then retweeted it, which is odd, and leads us to believe that where there is smoke, there is probably fire. And maybe quite literally, as you'll see in a few moments. So this is the first piece of the puzzle. The next piece is today, January 10th. TV and Lust on Twitter tweeted that GameStop just tweeted this and deleted it. WTF is going on in this direct. Nintendo Direct is in 45 minutes, GameStop says. We're excited to see what Nintendo has in store for us in 2018. What are you hoping to see? And there was an animated gif of Reggie tapping his watch. Well, this was quickly pulled, and it's unclear why. Was this someone just trolling? Was this a genuine mistake? Was it a scheduled tweet that went live early? Was it a scheduled tweet that went up as intended, but Nintendo had issues and things didn't go as planned? Again, all of this is converging around the same idea, the same concept, and at the same time. Things continue to get interesting because a lot of people have this idea that when there's a space on this page, a direct is imminent. And I don't know if it's 100% foolproof. I feel like there's times where it has worked out and times where it hasn't. But currently on Nintendo's Japanese website, there is a space. So that's another piece of the puzzle. Then Nintendo got really weird this morning and tweeted a picture of Chibi Robo on fire. Now this is from the Chibi Robo 3DS game, and I sure as heck don't think that there is a sequel coming. So I take it more symbolically, and people have interpreted this a number of ways. One, things are heating up, we're getting closer to something awesome. Two, the concept of fire. Three, there's an unplugged cord, there's a fire. Maybe there was supposed to be a direct on the 11th, and it's just not happening because things went wrong. And that would explain GameStop pulling the tweet, and that would explain why poor Chibi Robo was burning up. But let's stick with the fire theme for a second, that things are heating up and that things are getting hot. Because Nintendo NYC tweeted this strange Tomodachi Life photo of a me in a hot dog suit, which at first blush is just random and weird. You'll notice also uh, that Polygon and previously uh, GameSpot, other people are paying attention, and many more companies are paying attention uh, in future tweets. But what do these two have in common? I've seen someone theorize that the Direct that unveiled Chibi Robo and the Direct that unveiled Tomodachi Life did not have really any lead up and were more surprise Directs and maybe Nintendo is hinting that this upcoming Direct is going to be a surprise Direct. Hence, the tweet where GameStop says it's in 45 minutes. Hmm, is it just going to come out of the blue? Could it still happen tomorrow? We do not know. But there's a third tweet that is of strange interest, and that is from Super Mario UK, which is a picture of a Chef Fire Bros throwing some heat at Mario, and then three fire emojis. Now, I like the theory from Lightsaber Crayon on Reddit. I think that this actually could have some validity to it. He says that maybe this all ties into the new Fire Emblem for Switch, which we know is in development, we know it's a brand new Fire Emblem, and we know it's supposed to be coming in 2018. Could that be the highlight, the focal point of this upcoming Direct? He states that 
uh, you know, in the first tweet with Takatu, if you look at one of the New Donk City billboards, you can see that it is perfectly obscured to say New F.E. Could that relate to New Fire Emblem, or is this just an unfortunate coincidence that we're reading too far into? But it definitely does clearly show New F.E. Now, Fire Emblem also involves a lot of fire, and Chibi Robo surely is on fire. Hot dogs are not on fire, but they are hot dogs, and fire is very hot. And then, of course, Mario is being bombarded with fire here, and the fire emojis, which all could potentially tie into Fire Emblem. I don't know that that's necessarily the case, and it definitely is a, a conspiracy theory of sorts, but it kind of makes sense. And look, I do not believe that Nintendo is trolling people. I do not believe that they're just playing around and having a good time and laughing all the way home uh, and, and trying to trick their fans who they know are so excited for this Direct. I don't believe Nintendo operates that way. I don't think that's something that benefits them really uh, from any standpoint. And I think that this does have some sort of end game. I think it's leading to something. I don't think it's just a big goofy gaff from the big end. So perhaps the Fire Emblem theory is is legit. There's also this here. Now, that enigmatic Nintendo of America tweet that they're talking about is the Chibi Robo tweet, and we'll show you here how many companies responded to it. Mega Man. Now, we know that they're bringing the collections and Eleven to the Switch, and they had a reply. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sega has had a lot of uh, involvement with Nintendo and the Switch, and they have a reply. You look here. Doom, obviously involvement with the Switch, and they're tweeting a fairy image. Assassin's Creed and Ubisoft. Again, fire. Obsidian, fire. And there are more and more. We could continue to go through and click on these, uh, but you'll see that Riot Games, and Resident Evil, and Star Citizen, and Trove Game, and all of these other companies uh, have responded. Now, they could be all just having a good time and trying to get in on a meme or trying to, uh, you know, piggyback off of Nintendo's current just focus right now in the, the fan industry. But I like to think that maybe it means more um, because these are all third parties. It's apparently going to be a big third party year. Emily Rogers states here, uh, I'm going to be brutally honest with you. Nintendo's strategy of 2018 is to rely on third-party stuff plus ports of older games. They believe that's enough to hold them over until 2019 when they bring out their big guns, Metro, etc. So if this is a very big third-party year, then these third parties getting on board with Nintendo's cryptic tweet would make even more sense, especially if the Direct itself is going to be centered around third-party support and if it has to do with either fire in the sense that, hey, things are heating up and we're getting close, or Fire, Fire Emblem. Now, I don't believe if it was Fire, Fire Emblem that all these third parties would be tweeting about it. To me, that fire is like, oh, it's heating up, we're getting closer, something's about to go down. Now, we can go here uh, and see that even the leakers seemed as confused as us. People are saying they have no idea what's going on with Nintendo, so many conflicting things since early December, not gonna lie, I wonder if we're being messed with, and maybe they're trying to screw with leak reporters and, in a way, confuse them to a point that they don't feel comfortable leaking anything anymore because it's so unlikely to be true or there's so many different red herrings or whatnot. Um, everything I have heard would strongly suggest a direct is tomorrow, early tomorrow. Could it still be coming? I keep hearing info, but I'm not feeling confident. I did get more info about it from a few people, but I won't feel convinced until it's official. Yikes. I've only heard later this week. It's definitely a legit source. You're right. It's very weird. Again, super freaking strange. Now, this guy thinks... Like I mentioned, that it has to do with Chibi Robo. Uh, it's a Ziplash render. The Nintendo Direct announced that game went live out of nowhere without an announcement ahead of time. Hot Dog Me, Tomodachi Life Direct went live without an announce announcement anywhere. I believe strongly that this Direct is going to drop out of nowhere. You'll never see it coming. So could it still drop tomorrow or sometime later this week or sometime next week without warning? Seems odd given that the Switch right now has so much more hype, so much more at stake, and so much more attention than either Chibi Robo Zip Lash or Tomodachi Life. To me, dropping out of nowhere is more like, hey, we want to show you something cool, check it out, and that's where you you garner some buzz is because it is out of nowhere. When you're going to do something that's for the Switch and for the insane amount of people that already own a console and that they expect to buy the console, I feel like some prep time and some awareness is the smarter route. But again, people are saying Nintendo is being weird. Now, this one... 
might be the weirdest of all. Uh, John Cena, we know, has done work with Nintendo. And he is saying that he has an important announcement tomorrow. Again, this would lead to January 11th. So all of these factors, from the early leaks that there was a big direct coming on January 11th to Takatu, Chibi Robo, the missing space, empty space uh, theory, the it's heating up theory, the Fire Emblem hot, hot, hot theory, the third-party games really, really, uh, you know, drumming the the hype as well. Emily Rogers saying it's going to be third-party focused. Leakers being confused, but still saying it's got to be coming soon. And then this idea that maybe it drops out of nowhere and John Cena being John Cena. Now, there's one more thing I wanted to point out, which is on Nintendo's YouTube channel, they did have uh, an upcoming event little icon. And it didn't lead to anything, but it was there. And perhaps they are really just greasing the wheels and it is right around the corner. I want to know what you think. I feel like the most logical answer and Switch Force's official uh, belief is that these images all relate to hyping a direct that is incoming. Things are heating up. It's getting hot. Third parties can tell it's getting hot. Uh, leakers are confused, but they know it's coming soon. Whether there is no lead up or a short lead up, there will be a direct very soon. It will probably be third party and indie focused. Maybe some first party announcements, but most likely that is going to be coming later this year as we approach E3 and maybe even at E3. I think, we think, there is a direct either Code Red immediately, or in the coming days, and that Nintendo will announce it very soon. I don't see how all of this stuff, all of these little clues, all of this freaking Nintendo Switch cartridge breadcrumb trail that they have put together here could lead to nothing. I Again, I do not believe this company is, is trolling to be funny. I think they are doing some weird new 2018-style PR to get you pumped and kind of tapping into the online enthusiasm and online insanity that currently is taking place, like I mentioned, across Reddit, across Reset Era, across Twitter, across YouTube, because everybody knows something is coming. They're just eagerly awaiting. I want to know your take, though. Let us know in the comments down below what you think is going on. If you have any extra details, other obscure tweets or weird things you've found, definitely let us know. Tell us about it. Link us on Twitter. You can find us at twitter.com slash the switch force. There's always a link in the description of our videos if you want to go play along there. In the meantime, everybody, though, we will keep you posted. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date. If there's a direct, we'll have you covered. If there is not a direct, we'll also have you covered. But I really think there's a direct, and I really think it's coming very soon. Hot Dog Man decrees it, and uh, we'll just have to wait and see what they bring us in this new year. And I'm pumped. So I hope you guys are as well. Thanks so much for watching. We love you for myself and Gabe, who could not be here for this video. Switch Force, out.